Yeah. Thomas uh, T plus one. That is your uh, value date is next working day to your transaction date. Clear or the date on which we are entering in the transaction. Spot is T plus two. That is second working day the uh, exchange of currencies takes place. Second working day from the date on which we are entering the contract, the actual exchange of currencies is taking place. That is value date is T plus two. That is spot forward rate. Then forward rate is that market where the exchange of currency or the value date is beyond the spot date. That is after two working days. It can be three working days. It can be one month. It can be ninety days. Anything. Where forward rate is nothing but your value date is beyond the spot. Clear? See, depending upon the forward rate, we can say the currency is at premium or discount. See, if a currency is cheaper in the forward market, that is, uh, the value of the currency or the availability of the currency is cheaper in the uh, forward market, that is, three months later than today, then we say that currency will be at discount. Or uh, vice versa, if the uh, currency is at uh, the, the currency is costlier in the forward market, that is, if the currency is costlier than what it is today in maybe in next three months, then we say that currency is at premium. Clear? Well, yeah. Uh, let me explain this in detail. Mm, normally, uh, we express uh, any uh, foreign exchange rate as in this way. Say. One dollar is rupee sixty point eight four five zero slash five four five. This is the model in which we get question in the exam. One dollar is rupee sixty point eight four five zero slash five four five. This is nothing but this implies that one dollar is rupee sixty point eight four five zero slash rupee sixty point eight five four five. These three decimals will be replacing these three decimals. Clear? And this first part is called bid rate or buy rate. That is the rate at which we buy the currency. The second part is called ask rate or sell rate. That is the rate at which we sell the currency. And always remember this bid and ask or that is buy and sell is always with respect to banker. That is one dollar is equals to sixty point eight four five zero is the bid rate. One dollar is equals to sixty point eight four five zero is the bid rate. That is banker buys one dollar at sixty point eight four five zero rupees, whereas one dollar is equals to sixty point eight five four five is sell rate or ask rate, which implies Banker sells one dollar at rupee sixty point eight five four five. Banker buys one dollar at sixty point eight four five zero. Banker sells one dollar at sixty point eight five four five. What is this buying one dollar is? Banker is accepting your dollars. You have dollars. Banker is accepting your dollars, and in re in return, he is giving you rupees. Selling dollar, you are having rupees. Banker is buying your rupees, and in exchange, he is giving dollars. So while buying, he quotes one dollar is equals to sixty point eight four five zero, whereas in the sell transaction, the banker quotes one dollar as sixty point eight five four five. Always remember rule in um, foreign exchange arithmetic is buy low, sell high. Buy low, sell high. Resulting in profit, which implies always bid rate will be lower than ask rate. So whenever in a quotation, the bid rate will be lower compared to the ask rate. That to which that should be the rule in foreign exchange. That is, we always buy at low price and sell at high price, so that we end up in some profit. So in direct quote, one dollar is equals to rupee sixty point eight four five zero slash five four five. This is bid rate. First term is bid rate. Second term is ask rate. And always bid and ask are related to the banker with reference to the banker. And always buy low, sell at high.
clear and the example now uh, see we understand that uh, let me take this example see as on 1 1 2017 $1 is equals to rupee 60 then as on say 1 3 17 that is two month forward one dollar is equals to rupee 70. now what has happened whether rupee value has appreciated or depreciated or whether dollar has appreciated or depreciated see comparing these two we can come to a conclusion that rupee has depreciated that is earlier uh, for 60 rupees we used to get one dollar but now to get the same dollar we need to pay 70 rupees that is value of my rupee has gone down so rupee has depreciated or dollar has appreciated so comparing these two in two months forward dollar is at premium whereas rupee is at discount dollar is at dollar is at premium rupee is at discount clear so if the currency is getting cheaper on the forward then we say that currency is at discount the other currency is at premium clear guys yeah. next topic in for next change arithmetic is arbitrage what is arbitrage arbitrage is nothing but taking the advantage of exchange rates see uh, it is like uh, one dollar is equals to say 60 rupees or say uh, I am taking a loan in US I get say interest rate I'll pay at say one percent okay the same amount I am investing in India and I am getting a return of say six percent see I am taking a loan at one percent in US I am investing the same in another country at 6% and I am earning the 5%. The margin 